ready meals. It's probably not that surprising to learn that like other weight loss plans, the Slimming World also has its own range of ready meals. They're convenient for just putting in the microwave when you've had a really busy day. On the Slimming World plan, these are sin free. I have here chosen sweet and sour chicken, tender chunks of chicken in a tangy free sweet and sour sauce with peppers and bamboo shoots. Delicious. Now something that they put on the back of every box is a recipe for this particular meal. It actually says on there, would you love to have a go at making this dish at home? So I thought, how many people are actually eating this alongside a homemade version according to the recipe on the back? I've already had a little look at the ingredients in the meal itself. And it's not too bad. Cooked chicken chunks, red pepper, bamboo shoots, water chestnuts. Not actually too dissimilar from the recipe that they offer on the back. So I'm going to do it. We're going to have this plus also the homemade Slimming World recipe version and see how similar or different they are, which one is better. And when I do this, I'm going to follow all of the instructions and serving suggestions so we're going to have hopefully a like for like approach on this little task so i'm starving which is just as well because i'm going to be essentially eating two meals so let's get going Right, so I have my two meals here. Um, you probably can't see my head, but the focus is on the meals anyway. So the first thing I would say is colour differences. This one here is the homemade version of sweet and sour chicken, and here is um, Slimming World's own ready meal. Mine has a much, I guess, richer, look it's darker it's got more red to it um whereas this one's slightly lighter in color um and when i was pouring the sauce on i kind of felt like uh, the sauce was a bit runnier as well um but otherwise the veg all looks very similar okay so let's have a taste Chicken. 
Okay. Well, before I say anything, I think I'm gonna have just a bite of this as well. Okay. So, what surprises me actually generally is that for a sweet and sour sauce, it's not very sweet or sour for both of them. I'm just going to have another try. Because I know that when we have uh, ready meal versions of Chinese takeaways, they're never quite the same, but I, I know how a sweet and sour ready meal normally tastes and I wouldn't necessarily say it tastes like that. I'm quite surprised as well about the um, texture of the chicken. It seems quite real. Uh, and then we've got this. Let me have another taste. So my sauce is a lot thicker. Hmm. So in mine, it does taste quite similar, but I would say that this has got more flavour of spring onion. So basically, there's a bit of um, depending on how you cook element going on here. See, I actually initially thought that this one having a slightly thinner sauce was perhaps a bad thing, but actually, for next time, um, I would be interested in taking this off the hob slightly sooner, because I thought that I would want a thicker sauce, but actually that makes it slightly harder to mix the rice in. I think if I was going to make a direct comparison between the two meals, I would say that it actually isn't that much difference. I'm quite surprised by that. Despite the colours differences and the, and the appearance and taste, they are actually quite similar. If I was to rate it as a sweet and sour dish, I probably wouldn't rate it that high actually. Um, but it's tasty nonetheless. I think it, if I was to look at this situation, it's quite interesting how Slimmer World has offered uh, the option for you to make this meal at home. But if you were ever curious, then this is how it looks. Thank you for watching guys. I hope this has been mildly interesting to compare these two different meals. Um, I've got others that I would like to try. I started with this one first because I actually really enjoy sweet and sour chicken as a meal. Let's see what next the next one brings.